Welcome everybody. In this video I'm going to talk about the basics of keywording. So keywords are terms that you assign to your photos that you want to be able to find your photos based on later. In terms of workflow I'm in the library module, I've imported my photo shoot, I've rated and flagged it, decided which ones were picks, which ones were rejects, and assigned stars, and now I'm ready to keyword. Now it's up to me whether I keyword just my picks or I also keyword any rejects that I'm not deleting from my system. If I'm going to keyword the rejects, I need to click on the stack that I created and expand that stack so that I can see the photos and assign the keywords. I'm going to go ahead though and just collapse the stack and do just the pics for this video. I know that these photos have some keywords already because they have a pencil badge here in the bottom right corner. This means that the photo has keywords. If I click on that badge, it just pops open the keywording panel if it wasn't already open, and it puts me in the keywording box. So I can see on this photo that I already have Portrait and Seattle assigned to this photo. So I had assigned those two keywords in the import dialog, so they're on all of the photos for this photo shoot. Now let's say I want to assign the keyword sunglasses to this photo. I'll simply type a comma, and then I'll type sunglasses and then I'll hit enter to seal that in. Now there's actually two places I can enter the keywords, in the big box or down here in the small box. If you type in the small box you're not in danger of accidentally affecting one of the keywords you've already got, but other than that it's not going to make any difference. Now I see a second photo here with sunglasses. I could have selected those both at once, but I didn't see it, so I'm going to click on the second photo and I'm going to go ahead and type a comma and notice what happens as I start to type sunglasses. So when I type S it brings up a list of keywords in my catalog that start with S and of course when I type U it narrows it down further. Now that I've got the right one I can just hit the enter or return key and then the enter or return key again to seal that in. Now let's assign a keyword to more than one photo at a time. I'm going to go ahead and collapse the left hand panel here and select all of the photos with the mother. So I'll click on the first, control or command, click on the others. With them all selected, I'll come over, add a comma, and type mother. So now mother has been assigned to all of those. Now I'll select the father photos, so click, control or command, click, again and again, and I'll assign father. Now notice, with these four photos selected, that mother has an asterisk next to it. That's because of the photos I have selected here, the mother keyword is on a subset of this selection. In this case, it's just on this one photo. Now let's say for the sake of example that I actually want mother on all four of these selected photos. Very simply, I'd come in here and I would delete the asterisk. Now it's on all four. Now I have this photo that has a keyword that I don't want. It's, it's mother that I just put on it. So I can select that photo or group of photos. Let me go ahead and select all the ones with the father without the mother that I accidentally put mother on. And if I want to delete a keyword, I can simply come in and delete it from this box. As is said in your preferences, commas separate keywords. Spaces are within keywords. If I typed George Space Smith, that would be accepted as one keyword. So that's the basic way to assign keywords. Now let's say I want to assign a keyword to all of my photographs here. I would simply select all, so I could either go up to Edit, Select All, or I could do Control or Command A, and then I would type in the keyword that I want to apply. And in fact, the boy is in every single one of these photos, so I'll assign boy, and I'll hit Enter or Return. Now I'm going to click in the gray here to deselect all of those photos. I'm going to come down to the keyword list to show you that as you're adding keywords to photos, Lightroom is building a master list of your keywords. So this list contains every single keyword I've ever assigned to any photographs in this Lightroom catalog. If I select a photo, I can also see down here in the keyword list what keywords are assigned to this particular photo. If I wanted to remove a keyword from this photo, I would simply uncheck it. Or conversely, if I want to add a keyword, 
I would just come up and put a check mark in the box. Just a second way to assign and remove keywords. For the sake of completeness, I'll show you a couple other ways here. Lightroom's only a few years old, but it already has several ways to do things. You can also drag photos, either one or a group, to keywords to assign them. You can also drag the keyword to the photo. So you've got lots of choices. Now I do want to show you one other cool way to assign keywords, and that's using the painter can down here in the toolbar. If you don't see the paint can, then click on the downward triangle to the right here and choose painter from the list. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the painter and I am going to paint keywords. But notice for future reference, it's got labels, flags, rating, metadata, develop settings, rotation, target collection. So you can paint various things onto your photographs. But I'm going to paint keywords. And the first thing I'm going to do is type in Smith Marie. I'm going to assign the mother's name to all the photos with the mother in them. So I'll type that keyword in the box and then I'll hit enter. Now I'm doing last name first because keywords in the keyword list are going to sort alphabetically and I want all of the Smiths to appear together. Now that I've got this keyword in here and I've got the paint can, I can simply click in each photo. Notice that my cursor is now a paint can. I simply click to assign. So click, click, click. Then I've got the mother's name on all the photos. And then I'll come down here and I'll change this to the father's name hit enter, and then click, 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 and I've got that one assigned. So that can be an easy way to go through your photos and assign a keyword. You can also assign multiple keywords. I could have put Smith space Todd, and then after that I could have put comma father if I hadn't already assigned that keyword. If you accidentally click on a photo that you didn't mean to apply the keyword to and you want to remove it, if it was the last thing you did, you could just go up to Edit Undo or Control or Command Z, but you can also hold the Alt or the Option key down, then your mouse becomes the eraser tool, and you can click to remove the keyword. Now this paint can is going to follow you around here in the library module. Your cursor is the paint can, and it's easy to forget that and then to accidentally click and assign keywords to photos. What you need to do when you're done using it is put it away. So either hit the Done button in the bottom right here, or just click back on the dock to dock the paint can. So that's the final way that I'm going to show you to assign keywords. So you've got the keywording panel, you've got check marks in the keyword list panel, or clicking and dragging, or you've got the paint can. The next thing I want to show you is how to find photos based on keywords. Now I have a separate video using the library filter bar to search for photos based on keywords and all kinds of other information, but I'll show you the easy way right now to search for photos based on one keyword. Here in the keyword list panel, if I hover over a particular keyword, I get an arrow here on the right hand side. If I click on that arrow, it opens up a library filter for me with that keyword selected. So now I'm seeing just my photos with that Savannah keyword. At this point, I could do whatever I want to do with these photos. Scroll through them and look at them, add additional keywords, go to the develop module, build a slideshow, etc. Now when you're done viewing these photos that match the filter, you're going to want to turn the filter off. So come up to none here to turn the filter off. Now you're back to seeing all of your photos. Now if you want to look at photos from a different keyword, you'll just come click on the arrow next to that keyword. So this concludes the video on the basics of keywording. I've showed you a few different ways to keyword and how to find your photos based on a keyword. In the next video, I'm going to talk about creating nested hierarchies of keywords and what the advantages of that are, and then I'm going to give you a few tips on how to clean up your keyword list.